An NDG of Quara South Senatorial District in Quara State have raised concerns over the continued marginalization of its district educationally by citing and concentrating major higher institutions of learning by state and federal government only in the state capital and Quara North District of the state, ignoring the South. The Secretary General of a Social Cultural Group, Quara South Consultative Forum, Daramola Simon, gave the hint during a press conference in Ilori, the state capital. As I said, there are many higher institutions of learning in Ilori in the Quara state capital, both public and privately owned. The state currently has three colleges of education, both but plans are underway by the state government to convert one such into a university of education with a view to giving a modern touch to teachers' education in the state. As it is now, Quara State is the only one among the three senatorial districts without a full-fledged government-owned university. Quara State University Malete is in Quara North. We, we see this as nothing more than greed and selfishness. Presently, the following government-owned tertiary institutions are located in Elorin, Quara State Polytechnic, College of Education, College of Arabic and Islamic Studies, University of Ilorin, Kwasu Campuses, Kwara State University Teaching Hospital, School of Nursing. The demands of IDPU, if allowed to stay, will not only injure our unity, but also stall every effort at engendering even spread of development across the state. The name of the University of Ilorin, Unilorin in bracket, after the founder of Alimi dynasty. This is a highly provocative suggestion, which is indifferent to the diversity and divergent history of other ethnic groups in Kuala State. The fact that the university is located in Ilorin does not confer ownership on the city. The privilege of being the host community should not be misconstrued to mean exclusive ownership either. It will therefore be unjust and unreasonable to impose a name that does not have a statewide spread on our collective inheritance. The group, however, cautioned the state government to tread softly because university business is highly capital intensive and for proper funding it requires. We are however constrained to advise the state government to be cautious about this. With Kwasu in place and the proposed University of Education, the government should trend softly because university business is highly capital intensive and for proper funding it requires careful planning. But what Whenever government decides to establish the university, it should certainly not be in a lorry again. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.